Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope your week is going well. Um, if you're new, welcome back to the channel. And if you've been back before, hi. So you guys, I have something very, very spe special for you. We have a post review. Yep, I said it, a post review from the longest whip ever. Well, the longest whip ever for me. Um, this was definitely a labor of love. I definitely took a very, very long break from this. I took lots of breaks from it. This was a gift. Um, and this is a gift for Bryant's dad. And I, let me get to my notes because my log book sticker is way in the beginning of my journal, but yet there was lots of stuff after it. So where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All right, you guys. I started this canvas March 7th of last year and laid the last drill March 4th of this year. So almost exactly a year. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, but if you've been following me for a while, you definitely know what it is, but let me unveil it for you. Now, before I do, please note that I will do my best to pan over this. Um, but it's not going to be able to get all in frame because it's so massive and my recording arm is as high as it can go or my tripod. So here we go. You guys, here it is. Here it is. It's basically, I'm going to try and slide it around. This is Treasures of the Great Outdoors by Chuck Pinson. It is a 94 centimeter by 70 centimeter square diamond painting kit. Um... It's my eighth finish of this year. Um, colors. I forgot to count how many colors are, but there is a lot. Um, I think there's, let me see if I can, if it tells, or unless I have to count it. Let me see if I can. There are 53 colors. 53. I pulled up the washi. 53 colors with um, three 80s. Now, these are the older drills, and I'll go over a little bit more of these details after I show you. Um, this is was worth every single painstaking drill I have laid down. It, it really was totally worth it, you guys. I mean, this looks is an absolute masterpiece. Um, I'm not huge into landscapes. Um, it just depends what it is, especially of like nature stuff like this. Um, but it was for, it's for Brian's dad. Um, and I want to do something special for him. I, it's supposed to be like a Father's Day gift or like, and then turn into a birthday gift and then turn into another year. I miss Father's Day again and what have you. So yeah, it's quite, and it's heavy. So I'm going to do my best. So I'm really loving um, the sky. You see the birds in the sky. You see the mountains. It looks like there might be a little bit of snow or some just a reflection from the setting sun because to me, this looks like the sun is setting. Um, fall is my favorite time of year. So you can see all the leaves on the trees are changing colors. It's just so beautiful. Um, just, what was I, I was going to say, oh, what I was going to say is I was surprised Yes, there was a ton of confetti in this. However, I was surprised at how much line blocking there were in section certain sections as well. Um, I did not use anything bigger than a four placer because really there isn't that much where you can um, multi-place. But I know I complain about confetti all the time, but when I say it's totally worth it, I mean, just look, it totally is. So you see the trees changing colors. You see some evergreens in the back that don't change. Um, you can see maybe, uh, you can see the stream coming down. You see a fisherman in the stream. It might be the person who owns this, this nice house. Right here, there is a turkey where is it? Oh, here's the turkey. That's another thing I loved is like all the things that popped up in this once you took take a step back. Um, I would love to live in this house. You got we got a fire pit going. We've got the turkey. There's a bear or a turkey. There's a bear right here. Canoes. There's a moose on this canoe. Um, there are the ducks. 
right here. And then there is another bear. Let me slide this down. There's another bear and he's caught a fish in your lower, if you look to the lower left, um, the rocks, the logs, the, um, the ABs were sprinkled throughout. You can see them, they're mostly in the trees, like right around here. They're over there in that tree. They're over in here. Um, we have a couple here. And then um, we have a couple over in this section. Let me pull it down a little bit more. Right there in the far corner. So that's where the ABs were. Um, there was no static. And keep in mind the drills, they are older, but I had a lot of colors that were stuck together to where I had to use my little drill grinder uh, to break them free. There were holes, there were misshapes. I mean, they were the older drills, you guys. And I don't have them because they're my, I moved from the craft room out here to the dining room table because that's where I've been doing most of my diamond painting because I don't want the cats in my craft room because they're too wild. They are absolutely too, too wild. So we just kind of have to go with the flow right here. I absolutely love the shimmer and shine. It almost looks like with the shine oop, over there, it looks like water is splashing up. So even though these are the older drills, you guys, and I have an overhead light, I mean, look at the sparkle coming on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was supposed to take it Saturday um, to get framed, last Saturday to get framed, but I was too lazy. Um, and I actually filmed, uh, finished this last Saturday. So let's go over um, what I wrote down. You guys always know I like to start with the cons first because um, I like to end things on a positive note. I am going to try and move you guys back just a tad to see if we can get and lift this up. To see if we can get a little bit more. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little bit more of the painting in there. That's much better. All right. So we already went over all the stats. I need to I'm just going to take this pencil right here and write in that there were 50. How many colors did I say? 53. 53 colors. I'll go over it in pen later. 53. All right. What? Let me, I'm going to read over my notes first and then I'm going to go over my pros and cons. So um, I kind of, as of April 16th, 2022, I have taken a large break from this kit. Not because I don't like it, but because life is super busy with swim and other things keep popping up. Next note, after almost a year, I am finally finished. It was totally worth it. I feel so accomplished, have plenty of drills left over. Fact, I did not run or come close to running out of any drills. Cons, these were DAC's older drills, and although they were still beautiful, um, a lot of them stuck together and had a lot of tabs. Pros, stunning picture, stunning, picture perfect, bright colors, um, and shiny drills, and literally how realistic it looks. I mean, if you did not know that these was made out of drills, or if this is framed hanging up on the wall, it would literally look like a actual painting and not thousands and thousands of these tiny little square drills. Um, I don't think you guys know if I've completed and framed so much larger canvases like the Night Garden by Bob Doucette and uh, my Medusa by Manny Manzano that are framed. And my very first Diamond Art Club, which was the New York City skyline, which is framed and hanging. And don't forget uh, Shine from um, Lizzie Falcon from Treasure Studios Art. This was the most accomplished I have felt with, out of all of those massive diamond paintings. I don't know if it's because it's a gift I don't know if it's just because of the type of art and there's just a random drill. Um, I don't know, but I never felt so accomplished, relieved, emotional, overwhelmed as I was finishing this. Um, I pretty much have the entire thing in frame, but um, like I said, I will do, I will try to pan over it um, and add this at the end of the clip. So what do you guys think? Does anybody have this in their stash? 
Um, I am not sure if this is still available. Um, I'll come back on here and let you guys know when I do the pan over if it is still available or not. But if you are a Chuck Pinson fan, if you are a landscape fan, and if you um, are a square fan um, and you want this or you thought about this, I highly suggest it. Will I be doing a large landscape anytime soon? No. Am I going to be doing some smaller ones and more realistic ones? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. But I am so in love with this one. Thank you to Chuck Pinson, if you see this at all, um, for allowing us to enjoy your art in forms of diamond painting. Diamond Art Club, thank you so much for licensing this. Oh my God, I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys. I just caught it. There's a hawk or a bird in that tree right there. It's a falcon or something. I don't know. Don't mind my mess. I got a lot going on here. So what do you guys think? I just have to know. There we go. Okay, so now I don't have to pan out. I don't have to pan out, but don't mind my mess at all. Um, please don't. I got so much going on. Anyway. I really, really hope that you guys like this. Please let me know your thoughts. Um, what do you think of this? Did you like it? Um, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I know you guys are like, this metal goth chick is doing this Chuck Pinson landscape. You guys know I like all sorts of art. I don't be discriminating. Anyway, here it is. Chuck Pinson, Treasures of the Great Outdoors, 94 by 77, 70 centimeters. Legally licensed from Diamond Art Club, you guys. It is finished, and I am so, so happy. And I will follow up in a whipping chat once I finally get it framed and give, and you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait until uh, Father's Day to give this to him, but that's the plan. Give it to him on Father's Day. So, all right, you guys. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that fun stuff. So remember, be safe, be kind, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.